Hey everyone, it's Monday the 26th of February and it's now 9.30 in the evening. In this video we are going to attempt to put Windows 95 on the second of those two uh, compact desk pros that uh, I bought on eBay. So, this is what I've got set up so far. I have found a Windows 95 boot disk. I already had one. Um, had one sitting in here actually that I've never used. I made it years ago and never used it. Um, I've got some instructions. I've been watching a YouTube video. I've got a hard drive in here. I've got a dead one there. I've got another dead one. Uh, that one. We tried experimenting. That one is not reading either. So. Two dead quantums. To be honest, I never liked quantum in the first place. Um, and if you're wondering why I've got a CD drive up here, it's because this one it does flash when you turn it on. It's not going to because I've got no power to it, but it does flash the LED like that. But when you press that button, totally dead. It doesn't even try to open. So, I'm gonna have to change that. All right, so. Yep, it's running the CD, so I'm going to need my keyboard here. So at this point I need to type in FDisk. I need to go to option 1, and option 1 again. Uh, I'm actually going to go with no, because that is not a large hard drive. Partition created. Good. Oh, press escape to continue. Escape to exit F disk. Must restart the PC, so we'll do that. I've done that first bit right with the partition. <laughs> I'm in trouble if I haven't. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. So I'm going to come back up to this. Now, what I've got to do. Type in format C colon and format the drive. Uh, yes. When I was experimenting earlier, I got to this point, and that's when the hard drive made some very unhealthy drive um, noises. Yeah, it's just going to take a little while. I thought. I knew I was going to have to keep pausing the video, then go and watch the video. So I thought I'll just watch the video to get the instructions to at least get me to the actual setup portion of it. And then hopefully I can pause the camera and then come back. It looks complicated, but really, when you know what you've got to do, it isn't. It's a bit more complicated than later versions of Windows. You, know, you can just run the disk and it'll pretty much do everything automatically. Windows 98, XP, 2000. You know, it just gives an even NT. It just gives you that option to format the disk. You format the disk and it does everything else for you, basically. Not so lucky with this one. So we're up to 40%. I might as well just let it. I was going to pause the camera, but literally it would probably be for like a couple of minutes. 
I've had room on the worktop. I've dragged the other one up here and changed the uh, BIOS battery in it. It's another hard drive that I don't want to get rid of. That's not a broken one. I've got two dead drives. I think I can see why a lot of people um, change it over to CF cards now. I guess with some of these drives, they're just getting so old, they're just so unreliable now, aren't they? So at some point, I am going to invest in a load of IDE to CF, um, CF card adapters. Because uh, eventually I'm not going to have much choice, am I? Because the hard drives are all, they're all going to die eventually. But I would like to keep the original hardware for as long as possible. I thought I was stuck on 56% for a second. I hope it wasn't moving. Right. Oh, I must just disappear off camera for... Well, I don't think I've been on camera much anyway, have I? You ain't seen much of me. Right. A few tubs and boxes that I just want to tuck back in the cupboard when I uh, grab that CD drive. It's not going to go back in there because it's going to go in the system. What are we doing? 62%. I haven't even got nothing to sit on in here. I don't have a chair or anything, do I? <sighs> oh, there was a bit of a hiccup there. Just came up trying to recover allocated unit. Just did that click again. I really don't care if the hard drive dies after this. I just want the practice, you know, at setting up a Windows 95 PC. And to be honest, I'd be better off keeping these instructions written down because I'll never ever remember all of that. I would, if I was doing this every day, then yeah, I would remember what I had to do, but I won't, so. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah, sounds like there's a couple of bad sectors on that. But as long as it will just last long enough to get this up and running, at least for a little while, I'll be happy. Um, but this will be one that I will definitely have to upgrade to a... CF card and apparently you need a specific type as well which aren't cheap the ones you get for cameras and things won't work because they're set up you know for um, that sort of flash memory it's not set up for something like this but you can get them where they are so I'll do a bit more research on that as well we're getting there, we're up to 84%. It's only a um, 400 megabyte hard drive. But to be fair, I doubt I will personally install anything on this. <laughs> um, at least not with that hard drive because I'm not trusting it at the minute. Uh, so that's fine with me. 88%. That is a slow climb. See, sometimes that makes that click, but it doesn't do the recovery allocated section or whatever it was. Up to 90%, so we're nearly there. take a nap. OK, 
Come on, 95%. There we go, 95%. Come on, we're nearly there. <coughs> I doubt I'm going to assemble anything tonight. That'll be a job for tomorrow. So I'll have to put the hard drive in and I'll take this one out. I did try to use this one, but it wasn't happy. Um, it's a 10 gigabyte hard drive. I hope I didn't cause that. Come on, we were nearly there, don't do this, thank you, 98%. Yeah, but I tried this a couple of times, because again I just watched her experiment a bit before I turned the camera on. Um, and I just didn't want to know. I don't know if it was too big. Even though I did select, um, you know, large capacity support. 99%, come on. One walk to go format complete. Right. Uh, enter. So I need to switch R code on. So we need to go to that. Right. D-I-R, D-I-R, forward slash, where is it, W, and I need to go back to the C drive apparently, so C colon, K-D-I-R So we've got to copy a folder over to the C drive uh, Where am I? There I am D-I-R Win 95 I did that round the wrong way. No, I didn't. So now, E I R slash W. Okay. This is a bit of a long command. Copy. R colon uh, backslash win nine five win nine five backslash star period star colon uh, backslash win nine five and if I've done it right yep we're copying the files over now So where am I up to? I am up to here on my little notes. I'm actually liking this because I'm learning to do something as well. Because as I said, I have never ever in my life done this. Oldest operation. 
um, operating system I've ever installed was Windows 98. I've not even done an OS from floppy disk, so I would like to try that as well. Right. So then you type in this command to check. So it's copied 57 files, so we'll then type in cd uh, win95 whatever that symbol is dir uh, forward slash w says too many parameters. Did I do something wrong there? Um, what's that one then? It now says win line five. More than, that's it. I knew I'd um, remember it eventually. R Well, that says bad command. Oh, I don't know what I've got to do. Uh, let's do that. That's it. And then set up. Will it work? I bloody hope so. Press enter. The guy I was watching on YouTube to learn all this, he was doing it on a virtual desktop. So, you know, it formatted, you know, like in seconds. The one thing I may have to do as well, which I'll do while this video is paused, because I'm about to pause it, um, I'll just see if I can find a Windows 95 key. Continue. Right, so while I'm going through this, I'm just going to go and pause the video and I will uh, see if I can find a, a key for it. Now, no doubt I'm going to need it at some point through the uh, installation, so I will be back in a bit. Well, that's not what I wanted to see. Um, I can only assume that the video card is perhaps knackered. I've got a lot of choice, but I'm going to have to turn it off. There's also a fault with the floppy disk drive where um, the setup was detecting a floppy disk in there when there wasn't a floppy disk in there. So I'm just going to disconnect it for now. We'll reboot. I have got a spare one, hopefully. <clears throat> just get controller error. Just get it knackered anyway. This is all looking fine though. So I don't know why it looked all as weird as it did. I have got another simple little GPU that I can try just in case. Actually, I think that is a PCI one, so I might not. <laughs> no, I'm 
might not actually have them. Is it going to boot fine this time? <clears throat> Let's put that CD away and I've just realised I may still need it in this bit. Maybe that was just a, a little glitch or something. Definitely not the best hard drive, is it? It's uh, pretty poop, actually. So it's no, put in the start menu. Programs on the start menu. Windows help. Nest or settings. Blah blah blah. Nope, we are not in there. Oh, there we are. That's the one I want. Apply. Okay. Oh, I don't want a printer on it. Restart Windows. Let's just update the configuration. It may have to do that a few times. No, we'll just as it goes through installing things. So I'm thinking I may need that disc back. If it's anything like Windows 98 and whatnot, then I might, I don't know. Nope. There we go. I have a Windows 95 desktop now. Whee! Sweet. But uh, there still needs a wee bit of maintenance, like the other CD-ROM drive fitting and the floppy disk drive fitting and changing. Actually, I should have left that plugged in and just tried it from the desktop. But the installer was saying there was a floppy disk still inserted. Well, it's, it's here. So there's obviously an issue with that floppy drive. Okay, so I'm going to go with a shutdown. And I'll get some uh, some hardware put in place. At least I know that um, GPU is okay. I'm going to pull the plug so I don't accidentally hit this button and accidentally turn it on. So, pop that off, pop that out, and that out. Ah. So, oh, is that how the hard drive is installed? Have I got to have screws in either side? Because this has, and so has the other one. Right, okay. So we we'll to get this popped in. Shouldn't actually be too difficult to change anything over. What were you putting the upper ones? I think you were the upper ones. No, nope, lower ones. Drive that drive, the old drive upside down.
these are like weird screws. I haven't seen them for a while, but they're the ones that look like they've got a star bit as well as a flathead. Yeah, they have like a star bit cross flathead bit, so you can use either. I've only got a flathead at hand, so that's what I'm using. Well, I have got star bits in here, I just can't be bothered to get the case. <laughs> You know, the flathead was closer. Okay, so that's those two done. Get the other two, a bit of a fluff on the worktop. And I'll do the same with the hard drive and hopefully that can plug in. Does look like that floppy disk drive just screws into that big caddy. Because obviously these are bigger bays than what a floppy disk drive is, so they've had to put like a, a bay adapter in it. I'll show you it better in a minute. Just want to uh, get this in. That went in that one. Right. So I can now <laughs> back in the days when cable management just wasn't a thing. Okay, Mollocks and we'll give them the Mollocks. Doesn't matter. There we go. I'm trying to tuck that in down there. As long as I've got power there for the floppy disk drive, I'm going to take this out as well. And I wonder if I've actually got any matching screws in my tray of screws here. I don't think I have. at least three from them because I can swap them. I don't know if these other screws I've got in here would actually work on it so right Phillips we've, we've um, got screws in here you see so I'm just gonna steal four from it Safe swap on the bloody screwdriver all the time. Let's just get four of these out with this one. Try not to drop them into the machine. And one more. Yeah, one more. So now I just need to go in here and I need one. Two, three more from here. Get these shoved in, shall we? Because I don't want any of these uh, plates or anything dropping out. leave those out because I'm going to need those to do the other hard drive with, aren't I? So I'm assuming, as this didn't come with a hard drive, so I don't actually know how they installed it, I'm just going to assume they go in each end like this. And then it will just click in. Like 
so we can get the hard drive reconnected. Uh, there we go. It's the hard drive ribbon cable. And we need some power. Okay, so this is the last piece that I got to Seriously, is it in there just this one screw in here? Okay, so how does That lifts up. Ah. I've just found another one, but I'm not sure how we get to it yet. Because it's under there. But I don't know. This bit comes up. Can I just lever it off? And then tuck it back on? Like that? So that one just pops out. I'll pop in the new one. Let's give that. Ooh, there was a chunk of fluff that flew out of that. Not the proper way to do it. Do the magnetic screwdriver, so I'm going to change the screws on this. One, two. Now I've just got to hope this floppy drive works, otherwise, I'll be changing it again. Dust cover. So I might be better off trying this one first. Hang on. Okay, so change that again. Good game this is, swapping hardware around all the time. Trouble uh, getting it to line up. No, he's uh. don't think this one's going to work because 
It's not going to work if I chuck the screwdriver on the floor, is it? But the um, button's not lined up. The eject button doesn't line up with the hole. I mean, I can, I can twist it a little bit. Yeah, that's not going to bloody work, is it? Nuts. Uh, I didn't know I had that up in the cupboard. It's a zip drive. Honestly, I did not know I had a zip drive up there. I'm glad I know now. Oh, I need to move my hard drives over. I think you yeah, will. There's not going to be a dust cover on there, but there's not a lot I can do about that at this precise moment, unfortunately. Give me the one I've got with the... did I say bezel? I can't remember. Anyway, the only one I've got with uh, a dust door on it doesn't fit. in on either side to release that. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, so power is at this end. And... Cable is keyed. Fire it up and see what happens. I might stand this up now actually. Yeah. It's updated the diskette drives at least. At least it kept time and date, so the battery's okay. Didn't actually take me as long to change that hardware around as I thought that was going to take. I thought it was going to take me a bit longer than that. That's why I wasn't actually going to do it tonight or in this video, but I just thought, why not? Yeah, you know, doing the installation it wanted me to make up like a start-up disc and of course I couldn't. But I do believe I can do it from here, if I can remember how to do it. I know you could do it on Windows 98, you could actually do it from the desktop make up that. A startup disk, but I can't remember how. Uh, let's just see if the floppy disk drive is reading. 
Yep, that's a good drive. Good. Okay, there, the CD ROM is working. Bomb is apparently done. Everything is installed. That is actually a clean bezel. I might just keep hold of that for one of the other filthier floppy disk drives that I've got. Do you know, I really don't know why I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, at least five card readers up there. I can't remember the last time I put one in the machine. I love how the hard drive winds down when it sits idle, and if I do that, If I click on something. Set up the Microsoft Network. Oh, did this come with games by any chance? Internet tool system tools. No. It's just a shame, I've only got one good bezel really, isn't it? I mean, it looks better with that on there, but we're missing the bit that goes around there because it's on the other one. <laughs> This one didn't come with thumb screws, did it? But I have got some here. I've actually got a pair of the metal ones. Not quite like the ones on the other case, but are they too short? That one's gone in. These top ones are always a pain. I don't think I'm going to get a top one in there. Doesn't matter, as long as the side cover is on, that's all that matters. So, I need those. That's computer number two up and running. I do need to keep these instructions safe. So I would like to build some more in the future. Um, as I said, I'd like to give a, um, I'd like to give uh, some floppy disks a go. You know, floppy disk install. As I've never done it. I'm actually putting stuff away after I've used it. That's a miracle in itself. Right. I'm sure you all know the drill by now. You know, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this and other stuff that I like to do, like click diecast cars and Lego and bicycles and making other things, model railways. Um, you know, subscribing is totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit the little notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a video and in the video description down below there'll be some way here where my can is a bit lower um, I'll put links to my other two YouTube channels because I do gaming as well um, my discord server and uh, my twitch channel so feel free to check all of those out anyway thanks a lot for watching everyone I'll see you in the next video bye